This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on initiatives and measures for prevention of air pollution. The participants are Dr. Shrikanta K. Panigrahi, Director General of Indian Institute of Sustainable Development and Sanjay Jha, journalist. Dr. Panigrahi, as you know, with the onset of harvest and winter season. Now there is a worry about air pollution and central government has reviewed the measures taken to curb air pollution. Prime Minister's principal secretary Dr. P.K. Mishra had chaired a meeting of the high-level task force constituted to improve the air quality in the national capital region of Delhi. We had seen, you know, some good news during the lockdown. But despite that, there is a concern that this time, the, again, there will be a air pollution in Delhi. What do you think about this? It is a timely initiative that PMO, under the leadership of Principal Secretary, has taken this uh, dynamic initiative. And it is very important uh, to do some preparation the winter. It is a welcome uh, step. And to tackle the air pollution in Delhi and NCR and also the entire nation, we need two type of measurement, short and long term measurement. And this is a short term and periodical requirement indeed. And normally what happens, uh, the winter, the normal airflow doesn't happen because of uh, climatic reasons, weather phenomenon. Normally dispersion of the air above the sky doesn't take place. This artificial uh, shield is created by fog which prevents air pollutants uh, to go and travel beyond and they remain landlocked uh, just above us and uh, rotate within a limited uh, circulation which uh, as a result uh, it causes huge damage to our health and respiratory problems. So in winter there is enough uh, local based uh, initiatives and precautions required. So it is a welcome step. Principal Secretary also highlighted the importance of effective implementation of the existing institution management of crop residue, a scheme of Ministry of Agriculture by the states, and emphasized the other state governments to ensure that the new machinery to be deployed in the current year should reach to the farmers for the start of the harvesting. And because of all these initiatives, we have seen an improvement in the incidence of stubble burning, which has reduced by more than 50% in last two years. And the number of good AQI days have also gone up. But this problem is not restricted to Delhi or NCR. I mean, we see the air pollution in winter all across the country going up. And some of our cities figure in the worst polluted cities of the world. Why does that happen, Dr. Panikrai? The particularly the Southeast Asia and uh, this person of the globe, uh, we are heavily populated. Countries are there like China, India, Pakistan and all SAR countries. And uh, environment is always a low priority in policy making in uh, this kind of developing nations. So air doesn't say protect me. The water doesn't say give me police protection. They don't shout. The planet or the earth uh, tolerate everything silently. Normally environment Environment is a neglected area always and particularly the developing and underdeveloped countries uh, have their budgetary constraint and low priority and these are topical countries uh, and being a topical country number of sunny days are more we are dry countries so dust is a major pollution suspended particulate matter 2.5 and 10 micron which are very dangerous for airborne diseases it kills infants also to a greater extent. So problem with uh, dust or uh, suspended particulate matter is found to be very common in this part of the world and specific action plans in a sustained manner is required and uh, enough attention has not been given and now we are in a one of the turning point of the history. If you see the global list of highly air polluted city, the first 20, the first 30, India is always in the lead. Out of the first 10, 8 to 9 Indian countries are appearing in 20, another 15 countries are appearing like that. And it is for last 5-7 uh, years it has uh, seen rapidly. Particularly, almost all the cities of the NCR are uh, repeatedly appearing there, uh, say it uh, Gurugram, say it uh, New Delhi, or uh, say it uh, Ghaziabad, uh, say it uh, Faridabad, uh, appearing among the first uh, 20 list. And the reason is in the entire North India in particular, this uh, weather uh, phenomena is which is a normal climatic uh, reasons for it. And in winter, the air circulation gets uh, restricted because of fog formation and and uh, sufficient dispersion uh, doesn't happen. At the same time, as you told, uh, Parali and this uh, burning of agricultural uh, residues or waste is a major problem. 
normally what happens uh, during harvest season which is uh, also there in the winter and uh, in this harvesting time when they cut their crops and uh, collect all the agricultural waste they have no place to keep it or preserve it they don't know what to do with this and if they burn it the kind of the ash they get adds as a fertilizer to their the soil and uh, their further production increases uh, they believe it and there is a scientific uh, reason also which uh, suffices this so that is a low incentive for them uh, no doubt but uh, they don't have any other alternatives there are many technical and uh, techno management related solutions are available unfortunately which has not been tried so far but anyhow this uh, parali burnings are responsible for formation of uh, carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and uh, all sort of uh, air pollutants which cannot disperse and keep on moving within the north indian sphere and also remain clogged to the city where it has been emitted just remains uh, it above and accumulation keep on adding when the winter depends so this causes the problem so we certainly need some solutions and uh, for that uh, there are many short term and long term reasons as i suggested and uh, honorable pms committee under the leadership of the principal secretary has come up with uh, many such uh, suggestions and being a central government uh, institute they can give policy directions and the states uh, have a greater responsibility to make the action plans and it is not just a action plan targeting to one issue but in a integrated manner and there is a lot of problem experts are saying the delhi air pollution crisis may depend this winter delhi air pollution this winter will not just cause the usual annual disruption which we have been watching for last many many years but may also depend the corona virus pandemic during the lockdown Delhi reclaimed its clear blue skyline for obvious reasons but with almost all activities except like the schools and the cinema halls uh, having resumed the haze is slowly coming back there is a low wind speed has led to the drop in air quality do you think we we'll have same problems because of worsening air quality the impact of uh, covid is uh, hugely there on air pollution we have uh, seen the clear blue skies maybe after uh, 10 years and also the air quality index has uh, considerably improved during restriction time right from the last week of march till now you can see the from worst to it has improved to moderate and sometimes even good and satisfactory level the air quality index and when there was complete lockdown it was very clear it was very pleasant weather there was no movement in the roads at all or the vehicular pollution was not there there was a restriction by ngt for construction demolition waste and so strictly implemented by the government state governments and the industrial emissions are also on restriction in ncr as per the guidelines that uh, polluting industry or red category industry by central pollution control board cannot be permitted in ncr so all these things uh, has helped uh, to improve the air pollution index considerably but uh, when unlock 1 unlock 2 unlock 3 unlock 4 is uh, coming one after another the activities are increasing more and more more vehicles are seen in the ncr roads so air quality index is uh, also showing little deterioration and right now it is in moderate level this winter it is uh, expected that comparatively there will be less impact with comparison to previous years because uh, the people are concerned the government is concerned and there is also a lot of uh, legal enforcement uh, to the industries and uh, construction and demolition waste and ngt guidelines etc but that is not enough we need to bring it uh, to the absolutely the normal condition and for which we need a robust integrated action plan both at state and central level there is a need to have a cohesive integrated plan between central and state we have seen central government taking many measures you know like this meeting chaired by principal secretary to uh, prime minister uh, dr mitra but states sometimes don't really come up to the same speed fighting the air pollution because they have their own local political compulsions that's the one challenge also dr panigrahi you know because of pandemic we have seen the medical infrastructure getting overwhelmed if we start having more uh, patients with the respiratory complications coming that is going to be a big big crisis 
You are absolutely correct. We need an integrated plan. And uh, this initiative by Principal Secretary is a very welcome step indeed. And uh, the states having a lot of problems. They neither have technical ability, they don't know exactly what to do, or they don't have uh, managerial solutions uh, to the best of their understanding. And many times they lack uh, funding and uh, skilled manpower to make it happen. So many things remain in paper and it is partially done or not done at all. So that part is to be needs to be strengthened. And uh, considering the Parali issue, yes. Now all the state governments like uh, the principal secretary got engaged to, that is uh, chief secretary of Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, UP, all the states and uh, most of the states are part of NCR except Punjab. But Punjab has a huge impact uh, so far as Parali burning is concerned with respect to flow during winter as well as uh, it comes under the North India sealed dispersion problem. So in all these uh, adjoining states, it has been decided that the farmers will be given little financial initiatives per ton basis so that they will restrain themselves in burn them. So that is one economic tool has been adopted temporarily but there was a research study done by our research institute Indian Institute of Sustainable Development along with IIT Kanpur and we understood from the farmer that this incentives is inadequate and uh, it doesn't make any sense to them. So they are looking for either higher incentives and they just want to get rid from this waste. And uh, if somebody needs to lift it from them and uh, giving some attractive revenue against it. Otherwise, still the best solution they see is to burn them. So there are many technologies available uh, like this kind of uh, paralysis or the agricultural residue can be compressed and energy pellets can be made which are of higher calorific value when they are burnt so they can be consumed in industry as a fuel source and uh, such kind of uh, technology are available and uh, such kind of industries uh, appropriate technology transfer uh, needs to take place from Germany and few of the European countries where these practices are very common and uh, those kind of Indianized uh, technology needs to be created with a proper financing methods. If the states are not able to manage it, it needs to be managed uh, creating an authority or creating a central fund in a sustained and planned which will uh, create a permanent solution to the problem at so source instead of doing the things in a piecemeal basis here and there. So air pollution is hampering our economic prosperity apart from the health of the citizens. So states will have to take it as a more serious subject uh, than other priorities. And how confident are you that uh, because of the intervention at the top level by the principal secretary of the prime minister, this time the states will have to act upon? There has to be a effect uh, technical committee who will uh, for approve uh, and uh, sanction and uh, arrive at uh, long term um, technical uh, management plans which will not only manage uh, hotspots uh, in isolation but the overall integration plan in short term and long term basis and in many problems like uh, solid waste management and many such areas because the states are not able to manage the problem there are center state partnership and uh, come along with with the participation of a private sector research institute and some type of implementing agencies has been created at state level. So a similar approach is also required to manage the air pollution. You are very correct. The economic prosperity, it has hampered to a very greater extent, which is not directly visible, but indirectly it is very much there. And in addition, the life expectancy of an Indian is considerably reducing because of uh, air pollution. And and uh, there is a link of air pollution with uh, climate change. And uh, so far as the ecosystems are concerned the, and planetary systems are concerned, one has an impact towards the other and all are interlinked. The studies which clearly say that India topped the world in pollution-related deaths and it's the time we start realizing the air pollution challenges and taking the seriousness of it. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Panik Rahit. Thank you very much. You were listening to a discussion on initiatives and measures for prevention of air pollution. The participants were Dr. Srikanta K. Panigrahi, Director General of Indian Institute of Sustainable Development and Sanjay Jha, Journalist.
This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app News on AIR. This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com. At